Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at the next gland which is the most important one and the master gland that is pituitary gland. As I was telling just now that it, it, is, it actually controls the secretion from all other glands of the body. So that is a big thing in itself. So first let us try to understand the structure, the location of the pituitary gland. Then we will talk about the hormones which are released from the pituitary gland. So it is present in the brain attached beneath the hypothalamus. So it is just located below the hypothalamus. So here you can see the red one is hypothalamus. And just below the red colored structure, you have a green colored structure, which is the pituitary. Now this pituitary gland is present inside a bony cavity which is called cella thursica. So it is enclosed in a bony cavity like how the brain is present inside the bony cavity called skull. Similarly, this pituitary gland is located inside a bony cavity which is called cella thursica. Now the question is how is the pituitary gland attached to the hypothalamus? How are they connected? Now they are connected to each other with the help of a stalk like structure which is also sometimes called as the pituitary stalk. So here you can look at uh, the structure in more detail. This is how the pituitary gland looks like. So here you can see a stalk like structure. So this stalk actually connects it to the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is located somewhere here. Somewhere on the above. Now if you look at the structure of the pituitary gland, it is divided into two lobes. So here you can see the two lobes, one in dark green and the other one in a lighter green shade. So one lobe is known as the adenohypophysis. What is the meaning of adenohypophysis? Now this is one portion which is further divided into two parts, that is pars distalis and pars intermedia. Okay, now you might be thinking, oh, it is getting complicated. Now, do not worry. So these are the two parts which we are talking about. Now, this portion is basically adenohypophysis, which is further divided into two parts. One is pars distalis. Distalis means which is far away, distant, far away. Intermedia means which is between, intermediate, in between. So basically here, somewhere here, you have a region called the pars intermedia. But this pars intermedia region is uh, like not very distinct in case of human beings. In human beings, pars intermedia and pars distalis, they are almost merged together. So in human brain, if you look at the pituitary gland, you basically get to see two prominent lobes. One is the adeno, I mean, one is the pars distalis. So pars distalis is one prominent lobe. And what is the other one? other one is the neurohypophysis. So as I said, it is divided into two lobes, adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis. In adenohypophysis, there are two parts, but one part is like not noticeable in human beings. So we can say that it is all pars distalis, right? So this pars distalis is also known as, because of its location, it is also known as anterior pituitary. So this is anterior pituitary and the neurohypophysis is known as the posterior pituitary. So now it is quite possible that you use these terms less because they are complicated neurohypophysis or adenohypophysis. Mostly we use the terms anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary. So here you can see this is the anterior pituitary or the anterior lobe and this is the posterior lobe and this intermediate lobe is almost merged with the anterior pituitary so it is not noticed separately. So now let us see how is the pituitary gland connected to the hypothalamus. We saw that it is located just below the hypothalamus with the help of a stalk like structure. But how exactly is it connected? Because now we know that there are two different lobes of the pituitary gland. So how is each of the lobe connected to hypothalamus? So let us first talk about the anterior pituitary. So hypothalamus regulates the anterior pituitary through a portal circulatory system. Okay. So here if you see this light green colored structure is the anterior pituitary. So this is anterior pituitary and this is posterior pituitary. And 
So if you look at the anterior lobe of the pituitary, you see that it is the axon of the hypothalamus. Here this is the hypothalamus. This area is hypothalamus and from hypothalamus you can see what does this represent? This represents the hypothalamic neurons, the neurons which are arising from the hypothalamus. So if you see this is the axon of the neuron, so this is a hypothalamic neuron, this is the axon of the neuron, so if you see the axon terminal ends into a capillary network and this capillary network connects it to the anterior pituitary. So this network of the blood vessels that is known as the portal circulatory system. So this is how hypothalamus controls the anterior pituitary. What does it do? Hypothalamus secretes whatever secretions it has to give. Everything is carried through this the hypothalamic neurons and then those secretions are put into this portal circulatory system and then this circulatory system carries it to the anterior pituitary. So it actually sends it to the anterior pituitary and then the anterior pituitary gets controlled like if it is a releasing hormone then the anterior pituitary will start synthesizing and start secreting some hormones if it is an inhibiting hormone then the anterior pituitary will stop synthesizing and stop secreting some hormones so that is how the hypothalamus will control the anterior pituitary now here for as far as the anterior pituitary and hypothalamus is concerned, hypothalamus will secrete the tropic hormones. Now what are tropic hormones? We will get to see a little later. Next is posterior pituitary. Now in case of posterior pituitary, there is no circulatory system involved between hypothalamus and posterior pituitary. In fact, posterior pituitary is not a separate organ as such. It is a kind of extension of the hypothalamus which is composed of the axons of the hypothalamic neurons. So if you see, this posterior pituitary is somewhat extension of hypothalamus. So the neurons which are starting from the hypothalamus, their axons are ending in the posterior pituitary. So we can say that to some extent the posterior pituitary is an extension of the hypothalamus. Now whatever hormones are secreted by the posterior pituitary, they are actually produced by the hypothalamus because whatever the hypothalamic neurons will carry, their, their axon terminals ends in the posterior pituitary. So it will actually get secreted in the posterior pituitary. So that means we can say that posterior pituitary is just an ex extension of hypothalamus which extends downwards. It forms a bundle and it is located behind the anterior pituitary. That is why it is the posterior pituitary. And it connects to the hypothalamus with through a stalk-like structure. So here you can see the stalk-like structure which is known as the pituitary stalk. So now we will talk about the hormones which are produced by the pituitary glands and we will also see how these hormones can control the hormone secretion of all other glands of the body. So this is the pituitary gland and if you magnify it, this is how it will look like. So now anterior pituitary secrete a particular set of hormones. Similarly, the posterior pituitary secretes a particular so anterior pituitary secrete a particular set of hormones. Similarly, the posterior pituitary also secrete a specific set of hormones. So let us see what are the hormones secreted by anterior pituitary. So this is anterior pituitary and this is posterior pituitary. So anterior pituitary secretes growth hormone, prolactin, thyroid stimulating hormone, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, luteinizing hormone. So these are some of the hormones which are secreted. The follicle stimulating hormone FSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone MSH. These are the set of hormones which are secreted by the anterior pituitary. So if you see all of them has a, a short form and that is because their names are quite big and quite complicated as well. So it becomes easier to remember them with their short forms like LH or FSH or TSH. So similarly, posterior pituitary will also secrete some hormones that is oxytocin and vasopressin. Now, as I have mentioned in the previous slide, that since the posterior pituitary is directly connected to the 
uh, hypothalamus so these hormones are basically secreted by the hypothalamus so it is actually being produced by the hypothalamus it is just that since the axon terminal of the hypothalamic neuron is located in the uh, posterior pituitary that is why it is actually getting secreted in the posterior pituitary but in in the real sense it is produced by the hypothalamus so now we are going to talk about each of these hormones and we will look at their functions in the human body let us now look at the the functions of pituitary gland. So pituitary gland is also known as the master gland. The name itself says that it is the master. So it is the master of all the other endocrine glands in the sense that this gland secretes some hormones which in turn control the secretion of hormones from all other glands of the body. So just try to understand this concept that the hypothalamus controls the secretion from pituitary gland and pituitary gland in turn controls the secretion from all other endocrine glands of the body. So let us take a small example how it regulates the secretion from other endocrine glands. Let us take the example of this hormone TSH. What is TSH? It is thyroid stimulating hormone. So what does this hormone do? On, and which gland specifically secretes this hormone? So thyroid stimulating hormone is secreted by the thyroid gland. And where is the thyroid gland located? It is located somewhere near uh, the neck portion of our body. So it is located there. And where is pituitary gland located? It is here. This green color thing is the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland which is sitting in the brain, from there it controls the thyroid gland. How? With the help of the hormones which it secretes. So the pituitary gland actually sends instruction to the thyroid gland and thus stimulates the synthesis and secretion of the thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland. So similarly all the other hormones secreted from all the other glands are also under the control of the pituitary gland. That is why it is the master gland of the body. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.